experience. But we're gonna we gonna we're gonna pull the veil back. We're gonna we're gonna raise the curtain so you can see what it is, right? Starting with number one, right? For the linemen. So for those of you that don't know, linemen are the guys that service your power lines, right? When the storm comes through and knocks out all of the power, and you see these guys rolling around in these big white trucks, those are linemen. So what you do is you go and find a union for the linemen. Sign up for their apprentice program, right? So here's the thing. Here's how you're going to be winning. Because those that are in school, they got four years before they even come out and start making money, right? But if you come in as a lineman, you get start you start getting paid while you training. And it ain't no small money. So let me tell you how much these linemen start off making, right? So you got linemen, and while they in training, these guys is making between thirty and fifty dollars an hour. Thirty and fifty dollars an hour, right? That's a hundred thousand. And see, here's the beautiful thing about a lot of these jobs I'm about to tell you. They unionized. And for those that don't know, the union, say what you want, but they do fight for some stuff. And a lot of it's the overtime. Some of these jobs, after eight hours, is double time or time and a half. On Saturdays, it's double time. On Sundays, it's triple time. So if you make making $30 on a Monday... And you work a Sunday, you making ninety dollars an hour. Ninety dollars an hour. You almost make eight hundred dollars for a shift, for a job that you don't have no degree for. I know some lawyers that that that, that ain't even making that. That went to school eight years, some twelve, and ain't even making that. Fifty dollars an hour. Next one we got, right? Next one we got on this list that you can make a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? Next one we got on this list, plumber. Plumbers. It's a shitty job, but somebody gotta do it. <laughs> nah, man, but seriously, you know, if you're a plumber, you guys good. They make some bank. Some bank. If you if you got a, a thick stomach, you can make between twenty five dollars and forty five dollars an hour as a plumber. Why are you training, right? Now, mind you, some of the latter amounts are once you have completed your apprenticeship program, right? But forty five dollars an hour, right? What's the math on that? How much you making a day on an eight hour shift? Forty five dollars an hour, right? You see it, hundred grand, easy, hundred grand, three hundred sixty dollars a day. Next one we got on this list, electrician. Yeah, Sparkies. They the bougie ones on the drive site. They don't clean up nothing, leaving all kind of Romex shells around, light socket switches. <laughs> Man, but they get paid. Especially once you become a master electrician. Now, mind you, all of these jobs have an apprentice program. But you're still making money as an apprentice. And it's still making good money as an apprentice, right? $25 to $45 an hour as an electrician? That's just starting out. Then you can start your own business as an electrician and really get to the money. I got subcontractors that make... Forty, fifty thousand dollars on electrical remodels of a house to redo the fuse panel from top to bottom. Four thousand square foot house, forty thousand dollars done in three, four, three or four days. Come on, man! Come on, man! You ain't going to school for no four years. You getting on the job training for four years. Again, my bag. Why you making it? Right? Next one we got on this list. HVAC. Hey, HVAC tech. Yeah. The nigga that's hooking up the furnace. Making over 100 bands a year. 
Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, HVAC are the guys that deal with your furnace and AC. When the AC stop working, you call them out, they recharge it for you. Charge you like $150 for 20 minutes of work. Come on, man. Come on, man. You don't have to go to school to get this bread. You don't even got, you can start right now. Even if you're 40, you can go out and get an apprentice job. Make it $25, $26 an hour, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. You don't have to work at Family Dollar. They don't have this money, people. Next one we got on this list. I know this one very well. I know these guys make real good money. I've seen it firsthand. Elevator mechanics. Ooh-wee. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. But they getting that guap. They not just making a hundred thousand. They making a hundred and fifty thousand. Hundred thirty thousand, hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Time and a half after eight hours. Double time on Saturdays. Triple time on Sundays. Well, what do elevator mechanics do? They build elevators. People get stuck in elevators. It's not the fire department that come get them. It's the elevator mechanics. Sometimes the fire department come. But the elevator companies love when the fire department come because this is more money for them. Because the fire department is just going to rip the door open. Now the elevator company is going to make some money because they got to send an elevator mechanic out there. And guess what? I used to work for an elevator company. They bill at $410 an hour. $410 an hour for one elevator mechanic. One. Some jobs you need a team. But elevator mechanics get that guap, right? They make 50 bucks an hour. Yeah. Don't let it be on the weekend. Don't let you get a call after hours. You're getting that real overtime. I'm telling you, man. You can get some guap out here. You don't have to settle for these BS jobs. Barely paying you. If you could, if you look at it like this, man. If you're going to dedicate your life to somebody else's vision, why not get the most money that you can get out of it? Why are you settling for $10, 12 $15 an hour when you can easily go out, make $25, $30 an hour with these? All you got to do is just find a local union hall and apply for their apprentice programs. And guess what? It's so many vacancies in these career fields. The skilled trades is desperate. You can make so much money. I know so many people making a quarter of a million, $300,000 in skilled trades. Yeah. Business owners, they not work for nobody. They run in their own business. Three hundred thousand dollars, low overhead. Come on, man. Next one we got on this list. We got pipe fitters, steam fitters. You ever been in a stairwell in like a big building, and they got these big old pipes coming down? Going to a boiler maker to produce steam, to produce heat for a building. Them the people that put it together. I don't know much about them, but <laughs> they get that guap. Let me tell you how much these guys is making, right? <laughs> Starting out, you had $25 to $40 an hour, right? Come on, man. 70 to 100 bands. 70 bands while you're getting trained. On the job training, you getting paid seventy thousand. I don't know how much clear I got to make this, y'all. Like it's it's not difficult to be a high value man. I'm giving y'all the gems. To be a high value man, you got to make over a hundred thousand years for three years or more. We just covering this topic for the money tonight. Well, we got this is serious. So make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all like this. Make sure y'all subscribe because the gems I'm dropping on this right. Now, Boilermakers, these are the guys that are in the little basement of these old schools and stuff, right? But that's all they do. He makes sure the school don't blow up. Pretty, pretty much. He watches the pressure on the Boilermaker, and this guy gets paid. <laughs> this guy gets paid between $25 and $40 an hour, right? $25 to $40 an hour 
to be a boilermaker, just to watch a gauge, to make sure that, that the pressure stay within the range. And if something breaks, which they rarely do, because these, these was one of the most reliable ways to heat the homes for like 40, 50 years. So you don't, you don't really have to do much. The guys that I remember, I used to work for a utility company, and the boiler, uh, the boiler maker technicians just sat there and watched TV all day. Getting good money. Good money. They ain't telling you this in school because they want to keep feeding you in so you can go get these student loans to keep getting the government rich, right? So the next one we got on this list. You got to be a brave motherfucker for this one, though. I ain't even going to hold you up. Never in a million years would I ever do this one right here. But these guys right here, they making doctor money. <laughs> Ooh-wee. This next one on the list, underwater welder. An underwater welder. God damn, these guys make between $25 and $100 plus. They make it over $100 an hour, right? I remember I had a career day and an underwater diver came in. He was explaining the job and how he had to swim up a water tower and make repairs inside the water tower. How he had to swim in murky water. He couldn't even see what he was welding. How he had to swim in a sewage pipe, and and that was the one that really paid like three hundred dollars an hour for him to fix that well. And you down there in some of these places for four, five, six hours because you weld an inch and a half thick steel. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let, let let's do the math. Let's do the math at a hundred dollars an hour for eight hour week. So. Times eight, that's 800 times five, that's four bands. So you got $12,000 a month. $12,000 a month, right? I'm telling you, if you want to make money out here, you can. You just got to do it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tap in and like these videos. So uh, the next one we got on the list, right? Heavy equipment operator. Heavy equipment operator, right? These guys is making between twenty and forty dollars an hour. Well, DJ, what's a heavy equipment operator? Have you ever been driving down the road? You see these big ass excavators and big dump trucks on construction sites? Big. Bucket trucks and stuff like that and cranes. Those are heavy equipment operators. These guys sit in air conditioning while the rest of the construction workers cook. They got it made. They just move levers around all day. Making a hundred bands. Come on, man. I'm cooking up over here. And guess what? If you stay in the city, you can get trained through the city of Detroit. To be a heavy equipment operator. And they'll pay you too. Woo, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Number 10. The last one on the list. Last one on the list. And this is it, right? Number 10. Construction manager. So, this one, um, you tend to have to have some experience. It's not like no real on-the-job training. Um, if you work in any of the trades, eventually... You get good at it, then you can eventually be in like a foreman, and then from a foreman, you can work your way up to a, a construction manager or a project manager. But these guys make money, make real good money too. So for those of y'all that don't know what a construction manager or a project manager is, have you ever seen a... All right, so I stay in Michigan, and uh, downtown Detroit, they're building a new Hudson building, right? So uh, the new Hudson building is done with all of these different trades you know all of these different you got pipe fitters you got steel and iron workers you got all of these different trades coming together and doing this one trade i mean this one project well whose job is it to coordinate all of that that's the project manager's job that's the project manager or the construction manager that's his job his job is to say, okay, I got the foundation guys coming in on the first, 
and uh, the following two months later, I have the the steel workers coming in to erect the the frame. Then I got the glass guys coming in to start putting the glass on the buildings. Then I got the electricians coming in and the plumbers coming in. It's his job to make sure that all of these jobs line up perfectly. And it's his job to make sure that the project comes in under budget or on budget and on time. It's a stressful job, but they make some good money. They make some real good money, especially if you're good, too. So with that being said, man, that is my show.